hidden behind hay bales. They were planting in the full moon. They had given all they had for something new. But the light of day was on them. They could see the thrasher coming, and the water shone like diamonds in the dew. And I was just getting up, hit the road before it's light, trying to catch an hour on the sun. When I saw those thrashers rolling by, looking more than two lanes wide, I was feeling like my day had just begun. Where the eagle glides ascending on an ancient river, bending through the timeless gorge of changes, where sleeplessness awaits. I searched out my companions who were lost in crystal canyons when the aimless blade of science slashed the pearly gates. It was then that I knew I'd had enough, burned my credit card for fuel, headed out to where the pavement turns to sand. With a one-way ticket to the land of truth and my suitcase in my hands, how I lost my friends, I still don't understand. 'Cause they had the best selection. They were poisoned with protection. There was nothing that they needed, nothing left to find. They were lost in rock formations, or became park bench mutations on the sidewalks in the stations they were waiting. So I got bored and I left them there. They were just dead weight to me. It's better down the road without that load. Brought me back to the time when I was eight or nine. I was watching my mama's TV. That great Grand Canyon rescue episode. Descending on an asphalt highway, bending through libraries and museums, galaxies and stars, down the windy halls of friendship, to the rose clipped by the bullwhip, the motel of lost companions waits with heated pool and bar. But me, I'm not stopping there. I got my own. Left to hold, just another die in the field of time. When the thrasher comes, I'll be stuck in the sun like the dinosaurs enshrined. Then I'll know the time has come to give what's mine. 